Uh, so someone was sharing with me that, you know, they've got these physical sensations, they want to get rid of them, uh, and, and they feel like it's a real effort. And, uh, and they feel like, you know, their self-talk is, when do the feelings end? And uh, I can't surrender my thoughts. Okay. So um, it is sometimes like that. Um, I, I, when I had kidney failure and I was cancelling my belief in kidney failure and there was a feeling of chronic exhaustion that was going on seemingly forever and I was, you know, was cancelling, I cancelled my belief in kidney failure and I was sitting with the feelings of exhaustion and that went on for about, uh, I think it was maybe five years. So it seemed like endless, uh, even though there would be periods of relief and disappearance and they would come back and then there would be the the, the the story would reinstate it's it's going on forever it's not ending um when is it going to end is it going to end so uh almost like a feeling of hope but you know um it was just the thing of faith in the teacher that these things are finite you know of course everything that's finite must eventually disappear before the infinite and that's kind of obvious on a certain simplistic level so it's just um allowing things just to dissipate with uh through whatever mechanism whether it's allowing feelings or whether it's cancelling beliefs or whether it's observing until what is being registered or identified with in form uh eventually disappears uh, sometimes you know there, you, i mean there's when there's heavy identification it seems very difficult to get relief or dissipation but you know there's a thing of like um there's different tricks of cancelling beliefs I cancel my belief I need this to to go now or go within a few days I'm an infinite being I cancel my resistance to letting it be uh, I, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind um, I cancel uh, my my belief of I cancel my my thoughts of wanting it to end so because these thoughts which go on and on in the head I want it to end when will it end uh, I want to get rid of it. Uh, these thoughts are actually creating resistance. So one is identifying these thoughts which come into the field of consciousness over and over again, like an addiction, and is actually hindering the releasing and the disidentification from the, the thoughts and the feelings. So as you delete those, um, paradoxically, it will probably be released faster and the miracle will happen faster. Uh, you know, wanting anything from the level of the ego wanting to get rid of something but for the ego to survive afterwards is also something you can dissolve or, or cancel um, that will create a deeper surrender you know it's like if if the ego wants to get rid of pain so that it can carry on thinking and babbling and repressing its feelings in addiction it's going to be less powerful when it's doing the spiritual work than to actually um, surrender surrender what is happening or cancel it or observe it and also cancel the idea that the ego is going to come back and enjoy the silence or enjoy the freedom because that in itself is not it's not the purest form of surrender um, to letting things go so when one wants to let everything go and doesn't want to come back as an ego to enjoy it afterwards uh, it's a deeper it's a deeper uh, more powerful surrender <clears throat> 